do they ask you to audition for roles, or how does that work? It, you know what, it works several different ways, sweetie. Um, one way that it works is, the studio will just contact you and say, we're starting this new show, we'd like to book you for a slot to come and audition. 1.15 to 1.30 on Tuesday. I'll go in at one o'clock or whatever, and I'll, and I'll, I'll go to the lobby, and there, there will be these books, like loose leaf notebooks, and they will have what we call character signs. Basically, a piece of paper that has a picture of the character, a brief paragraph description of the character, and then four or five lines that the character will say. And then we sit there and we look at it and we go over the lines and we kind of imagine how we would do that character in the audition. And we can audition for a few different characters if we like. We go through the loose leaf notebook and look at what different characters there are that you're auditioning for. Um, that's one way it works. Another way that it works is if you work with a particular director who knows you very well, he may just call you and say, hey listen, I got this, this role I want you to come do. Um, and you didn't have to audition at all. They just knew that you would be good for this. And uh, so that's another way that it happens. But there are also shows that we don't even hear about sometimes. Um, it just, there, there are a lot of different variables involved. Um, a lot of us live in different cities. Is there water in there? Yeah. A lot of us live in different cities, and so uh, auditioning is difficult. Like, you know what? A lot of people audition for Funimation shows. Um, via recording, like they'll, if they're in LA, or if they're in Houston, well, who's, who wants to drive up to Dallas just to walk into a booth for 15 minutes for an audition and drive back? <laughs> <laughs> you would the first time, but then after about the 15th time, I'm thinking this is really not worth it, because it's just the, the difficulty involved. Um, so a lot of times, you'll be able to submit an audition, a recorded audition. Now what's the downside of that? What if you're not taking the character in the direction that the director is intending? You're not there to make any changes. See? So if I go to audition for Michelle and I go, okay, this is Vic Mignogna reading for Tamaki Suo, and I say, um, welcome, poor man, to our world of beauty. <laughs> if I recorded that and sent it to Michelle, Michelle might hear it and go, Nah, that's too, no, nah, it's too low. Hello? And it needs more energy. It needs more of that lofty pride and welcome, poor man, to a world of beauty. <laughs> well, if I'm not there, I can't make that change for the director, and therefore the director doesn't know whether I can do that or not. And move on to the next audition. So it's, there's a, there is a good, there is something to be said for actually being there for the audition. But it happens many different ways. Now, what is our time? We have an hour and a half, don't we? Yes. Yes. Holy moly, I love it. 